I've been tagged my top 10 Bronze Age comic books from the personal collection. Stay tuned. What's up, fam? My name is Joseph, and I want to welcome you to another one of Wolverine Comic Shop's videos. I hope everyone out there is having a good day. All right, fam, like I was saying, I've been tagged in a showcase your top 10 Bronze Age comic books from the personal collection. Shout out to Rohan and JP over at Absolute Game of Nerds. I'm going to leave their link in the description below. Also, um, we have, I had to write these down. There's quite a few of them. Mike from Lunch Money Comics. Shout out to Mike from Lunch Money Comics. And the man that actually started all this chaos, uh, Alan. Alan from Comic Collector Geek. Uh, shout out to all of you guys. Really appreciate this opportunity to showcase my Bronze Age bangers in the collection. This is going to be pretty awesome. Uh, an actual top 10 that I was considering making, but I uh, just never got around to it. So these guys have pushed me in the right direction. All right. Um, before we get into this uh, Bronze Age, uh, my Bronze Age keys uh, in, in my collection, I wanted to, I was looking through these books and, you know, I was seeing what some of the other people were, you know, bringing up. And I didn't want to bring those same books, right? I wanted to find books within the collection that, you know, people weren't necessarily showcasing. So these might not necessarily be my legit top 10, but these are a formidable Bronze Age top 10. And I will say a vast majority of the top 10 right now is at um, CGC, CGC Comics for the CGC Signature Series event for, uh, for Roy Tom. So, all right, I digress. A uh, couple of books, just some Bronze Age um, bangers, so to speak. Uh, if you know me, I, I'm, I'm into um, Marvel graphic novels, square bounds, big books, things like that. So uh, these are just some honorable mentions. And that's going to lead me into my very first book. So this is the book that started it all. This is what got me into comic book collecting. Uh, this book was given to me, not this specific one, but this book was given to me um, for my ninth birthday. And it is a Marvel graphics novel, number five, X-Men God Loves, Man Kills. From 1982, a forgotten book in my opinion, uh, low on the census, and we're going to start with this one as my number 10 Bronze Age book. Really awesome. Alright, leads me into my next book. Again, I wanted to keep it interesting for you guys, <laughs> showcase some books that maybe some other people weren't. So we have... A Warlock Marvel Premiere, excuse me, Marvel Premiere number one, um, The Power of Warlock, first appearance of him as Adam Warlock, first appearance of the Soul Gem. It's in a CGC 6.5, signed by Roy Thomas. I don't think I mentioned this one. This is a 9.8 CGC white pages signed by Chris Claremont. There we go. So a little bit Warlock action, you know. Well, I'm a big fan of Warlock. Uh, he, he's always been in my collection. So, you know, regardless of whether or not the book is, you know, a hot key right now or expensive, regardless, it's, it's, it's an awesome book. Always has been, in my opinion. So next book up, we have an amazing Spider-Man number 252. Uh, the quote-unquote first appearance of the black suit um this is in the top 10 because it is a canadian price variant uh this is the only canadian price variant that i have in the collection shout out to j1 future on instagram it's an 8.5 white pager cgc um i'll read exactly what it says i need glasses fam by the way i'm i'm, I'm getting old uh ties with marvel team up number 141 we got that one as well uh, for the first appearance of the black suit. First appearance of the black suit. Okay. All right. 
So here's where things are going to start getting interesting, okay? This is a book that I don't think anyone would necessarily have in their top 10, but I don't even necessarily know anyone even has it as, you know, one of their Bronze Age books within their collection, right? So uh, just breathe, just take that in there for a second. So what we have is we got Micronauts number one from 1979. This is the first appearance of Baron... Well, I really do need glasses. Baron Karen um, and Bug. So in a newsstand signed by Michael Golden, 9.8. Not a book that you see uh, every day. I think they've been talking about Micronauts coming to the MCU since like 1995. <laughs> it's just, just a joke, but yeah, it's been a long time. So... All right, let's keep this train going. Let's keep this train going. All right, so another Bronze Age key in the collection. We have a blimp number one. This is the first comic appearance of Mario and King Kong. 9.4 white pager. Man, I would love to get this book um, clean and pressed and see what we can do with it. I think minimum... That's got some 9.6 grade bump appeal. All right. So this leads me into my next book. I'm, I'm looking at it right now. Here's where things started to get interesting. I wasn't sure how to actually arrange these. And I kind of threw this book in there because I don't, I don't know anybody that physically owns it. And I don't ever see anyone talk about it. Um, let's just show it and we'll go from there. So we have, you know what? Um, this one deserves to actually come out of the bag. Let's just let's just gaze on that a second. With the George Perez wraparound cover. So what we have is Crisis on Infinite Earths number one, DC Comics, uh, nineteen eighty five. Oh, on the verge of Bronze Age, Copper Age. You know, sue me. Uh, first appearance of uh, Blue Beetle and Detective De Detective King in DC Comics. Wraparound cover signed by Jules Perez, 9.8 white pager. And I mean, I always loved this story. I always loved um, the book. Uh, this, this, yeah. I mean, you know. Shout out to George Perez, man. When did I get this? I got this in 2020. Wow, this is one of my early, early CGC submissions. I got that in a 9.8. That was me. I bought that shit. All right. Next book. Oh. Ah, I love my Marvel premieres. I love my Marvel premieres. We got Marvel premiere number 47 from 1979. The Astonishing Ant-Man says Scott Lang becomes the new Ant-Man. In a newsstand, I think all of them were pretty much newsstands back then. That's not true. Um, really awesome book. Book I've always wanted in the collection. Had it for a while now. All right. This book was featured on Signature Series Saturday. For all that don't know, go check out my Instagram, Signature Series Saturday. It's a thing. I made it. And this book is just, I mean, shit. <laughs> so we got a Moon Knight number one, not a first appearance. Moon Knight number one, 1980, 9.8 white pages. And y'all know, check out that signature down there, but I don't know if you can see that right there. He got his hand up, right? And bang. And Bill, excuse me, Bill put his signature right up there. All right. <laughs> They're like, what could be coming? Again, a lot of the Bronze Age keys are at CGC Comics right now. So for a Roy Thomas sign. All right, next one up, Wolverine, limited series, Wolverine number one, CGC 9.8, signed by Chris Claremont in gold, beautiful, beautiful book, first solo Wolverine, you know, I had to throw it in there, I mean, come on, right, 
I don't know if I, I don't know if I've seen it in anybody else's, but this is definitely a different stack. Now here's where things might start to look a little similar. So a recent addition to my collection, we have a giant size X Men number one from 1975. Oh man, signed by Stan Lee and Len Wen. Obviously, first appearance of the new X Men, Nightcrawler, Colossus, Thunderbird. Second full appearance of Wolverine. Really, it's the third appearance of Wolverine. Um, whatever, Rohan. <laughs> uh, here we go. Very cool, very cool book. And finally, leads me into my last and final book, simply because I don't own a Hulk 181. We have an Incredible Hulk number 180 in an 8.5 white pages signed by Roy Thomas. And it's the first appearance of Wolverine. Not the first cameo. Not the first full appearance. The first appearance of Wolverine. And there you have it. That, we'll leave this sucker right here. That concludes my top 10 Bronze Age comic books from the personal collection. Um, I'm going to have to do this again once the other books come in. Uh, shout out to all the boys who tagged me, uh, Alan, Mike, Rohan, JP, and I'm going to give out my own tags. We're going to tag uh, Scott, Scott S. Vaughn 82, we're going to Chev the Shipping Guru, and Gary, the, Gary B. the Casual Comic Collector. Guys, if you're not doing so already, go ahead, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, go tell a friend what you saw here today, follow me on Instagram, eBay, Shortbox, TikTok, and we will catch you at the very next Wolverine Comic Shops videos. Peace. Let's go, bub.